is an expensive tri-suit worth the extra money? So in today's video, we're gonna look at a company called Sumarpo and see what they're all about and take a look at their hybrid tri-suit. So stay right here because I'm gonna bring you some really great information. So the question of the day today is, who is Sumarpo? and what makes them different. This smaller company makes wetsuits, tri suits, compression workout gear, goggles, sunglasses, and a bunch of different swim toys to help triathletes in their training and in their racing. What makes them different though, is their dedication to the environment. Their goal is to develop and produce eco-friendly, recyclable triathlon gear. In 2022, they have started a program to donate 1% of their sales to an organization called 1% for the Planet. This is a global organization that supports nonprofit organizations that are working to improve and clean up. SuperPro sent me their hybrid tri suit. It comes to you with this nice little bag with their logo on the front, and on the back, they're saying, Lost in Vacation. Well, this suit's not gonna be going on any vacations. We open up the bag, we take a look at the tri-suit. It is made out of some of the nicest material, top of the line stuff that you can get, built with different panels, with different stretch abilities here and there. But the hybrid part is here in the front. And what it is, is this is split right at the waistline, allows access to get the suit on and off better on the bike and on the run if you need to. It also allows a shift back and forth that you wouldn't get in a one-piece solid triathlon suit. Zipper at the top, you see it right there, it's got this nice little cover for the zipper. When I first opened it up out of the bag, it was really tight. I was afraid that I had gotten the wrong size, but as I used it, it loosened up. As it got wet, it seemed to get looser and get more form fit to my body. Now, it is all black, uh, I'm not a big fan of all black because it's supposedly hot. But this suit is very, very cool. And what I found was as you sweat and as it gets wet, it gets cooler and cooler and cooler. I've run in this suit at 97 degrees and was cool the whole time. Now, once you open up and unzip the front, I found that the zipper at the bottom is really uh, small and tight. You may not want to undo that completely in the race if you like riding your bike. You're not going to get it back together very easily. But that's just a little quirk. No big deal. And one of the things I really like about this suit is, I don't know if you can see me through here, but it's got a mesh right there. It's got a mesh triangle on the back that allows sweat, allows air to move through the suit. I really like it. It does give you one more little thing you have to think about. You gotta get some sunscreen back there before you go out racing or riding or training in this suit because that's gonna leave a little bit of a sunburn if you're not careful. Now in the back, the suit has a double pocket, elasticized, but it's what I call a chipmunk pocket. It's one pocket just sewn at the top, big open pocket, can put lots and lots and lots of stuff in there as you'll see right now. Let's take a look. Now this is not a real world test, but this, I actually got all this stuff in. We got a water bottle. We got a GoPro with the base. We got a couple of chapsticks, spare tube, spare cartridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Yurton gels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bonk breaker energy chews. One, two, three bonk breaker bars. And one, two, three, four, five packs of salt stick electrolyte gels. So what's that add up to? Five pounds of stuff stuffed into that pocket. It also has a chamois. The chamois is sewn in. I really, at this price point, I would have liked to have seen this chamois bonded in rather than sewn in. And it didn't seem to bother me much at all. Definitely not in the run. Didn't even feel it there in the run. I could use a little wider right through the center section here because I do use an ISM saddle, which is wider. I could actually feel off to the sides, but with a little bit of time and a little bit of conditioning, that's not gonna be any big deal in the saddle. So 
Do I like the suit? At this point right now, I love this suit. This suit is amazing. I don't think Sumer Poe had any idea what they were doing when they sent me this suit because I'm gonna put this suit through the torture test. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna take this suit, I'm gonna wear it for 30 straight workouts. Yep, 30 straight. Swim, bike, run, gym. Yeah, I'll hide it underneath a shirt. After 15 workouts, then I'm gonna machine wash this, which you really shouldn't do, and really try to torture this suit and see how well it will hold up over a year or two years worth of racing. This is supposed to be a race kit, but I'm going to really put it through the torture treatment. So will it hold up? Let's see. Let's let the torture test begin. Workout number one, 20 mile bike ride, 92 degrees, no clouds anywhere, black kit, first time ever. Here we go. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and find your Workout number 15, this is halfway point of my torture test for the Sumo Pro tri-suit. It's holding up so good so far, but today I'm gonna run in the mud. So 15th workout done, Sumo Pro kit has been handling everything really, really well, putting it through a torture test, but you know what? It's handling stuff way too well. It's time to treat this thing like a man would treat his kit. In the washer it goes. Limits don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time. Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown. They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So there we go, the torture test is done, and we're ready to see how the Sumarpo hybrid tri-suit made out. We've gone through 30 workouts, five machine washings, three trips through the dryer, which you should never do, and trust me, no race kit should ever be treated like this one was, no matter what. So what are our findings today? The top of the kit, everything from the uh, pockets up, really held its shape really really well the fit stayed good the zipper i don't know if you can see it or not i want to hold it up here close and see if it'll focus in you can see that it's kind of pulled away just a little bit needed to do a little tlc with the zipper after about the 15th wearing but here's the problem here's the total complete issue that i had with this kit it fit wonderful on day one but as the workouts went on the the trunk area kind of sort of was not what I really would expect in a uh, value suit. First off, right from day one, it was kind of gender revealing, but as time went on, folks, this thing got extremely gender revealing to the point where some uh, female workout partners asked me not to wear them anymore. They had a loss of elasticity in that lower part of the bike. I don't know if they're using a different material there or if this particular bolt of material had a problem, but they just really didn't work out in the trunk area. The other problem I found was the chamois. I really didn't care for the chamois. Three things about the chamois. First off, their sewing did not come together very well. You can see right here, there was a, uh, where they tied it off, 
really bad spot for the tie off to be, but that softened up over time. But it was really narrow, and this is the area where the gender reveal is. The legs, they never lost their fit whatsoever. It really worked out nice there. And the workmanship, above all else, had no issues whatsoever. Every single seam, every single sew, everything held up really well through this tortured test. So if you're getting value from this video, hey, drop down below, throw me a like and a subscription. Really helps to grow this channel. But if you're getting real value from this channel and you've been a subscriber for a while and want to help me out, there's a link down below where you can become a patron at my Patreon site. So let's take a look at the final score on this tri suit. First is price. You'll find the hybrid suit on sumarpo.com for $205. How does it match up? Well, at the bottom of the good quality tri suits, I found a two times U MT 5525D came in at $148. Zoot had the men's arrow at $175. Then they also had the men's LTD arrow for $250. And Zone 3 had their lava for $349. All of those are a single piece suit. The only comparable hybrid style suit I could find out there was the Castelli PR Speed. I could find that on their site for $349. But right now, as of the filming of this video, they were on sale for $245. So price wise, this is very, very competitive priced tri suit. So now we go into our rating system of one to five in seven different categories to find out how this suit will fare out. And then I will give you my final recommendation. First, durability. Guys, this only came in at a 1.5 because it lost the elasticity in the shorts. Can't give it more than that. Uh, but like I say, you're not gonna treat it like I treated this suit. You're gonna use it on a race day and it should ju do just fine. Pit stop ease, this is something that uh, comes in play. Guys, this is a five out of five. The only thing that I found with it, you gotta practice a little bit getting your sleeves off because they're really tight right around here. Arrow features, they're really tight around here. They are tight in the shoulders, fit quite well. The legs, the back, everything is skin tight fit and doesn't pull you in and make you feel like you're compressed. I'm gonna give arrow features a four out of five because there is the split in the front. It's not a true skin suit. Construction quality, couldn't find a thread out of place at 30 workouts. Construction quality, 4.5. Need to beef up that zipper just a smidge, maybe one more quality better than what they have in there. As far as the chamois goes, 1.5. I didn't give it a one because there's gotta be a worse one out there somewhere. For features, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five because it is a hybrid suit. It does have the vent in the back, great pockets. The pockets are also um, mesh so they don't catch the water and it swims really, really, really good. As far as value goes, 3.5 out of five for pricing and where it falls into the market for a total of 23.5 out of 30. Now I'm gonna bring up my final ranking system for, that goes from junk to highly recommended and final results for this product is boom right here recommended but i'm telling you right now this is a race only suit this is not a training suit it'll last you one to two seasons without any problems as long as you hand wash drip dry and take good care of it take a look at this video right here on sumarpo wetsuits will pop up as soon as i get them that video done this is coach john boom i'm out